How are you going? So I'm in Chiang Mai, as you know, and when I was at the Meihao market, we found two bakeries, Dang Bakery, which did a chicken pie that tasted like tuna fish, and Prao Tip Bakery. So Prao Tip Bakery had two kinds of pie. Well, they had more than two, but one was coconut and one was um, pineapple, I think it was, anyway. But two meat pies. They got the red pork pie. Once again, more like a turnover than a pie. And the curried chicken pie. Now, you're probably noticing that a pie in Chiang Mai is very different to what you'd expect from a pie in Australia. I cannot judge them by the same criteria because it's just chalk and cheese, completely different. But what the hell are we going to give it a go anyway, see what it tastes like. Now we'll start with the red pork pie. Now if I was awarding points for this, already I wouldn't get the point for being sealed. Now the pastry looks quite well baked. But let's have a go at it. Kind of like a Danish pastry, a bit sweet. Seems to be a bit of beans in there. Maybe red beans, but the pork to call it red pork, I don't know. It's not hot, but it's not cold. It was actually in a um, warmer in the bakery and just kept tepid. Mm. But it's pretty nice. The filling to pastry ratio is a bit on the lacking side, but the filling very flavoursome, a bit peppery, it's quite good. Mm. Not sure if I'd have another one. That was pretty nice, you know. I can't say it's got a lot of filling, so we can get three out of three for the filling. Flavour would get three out of three, though, it's good. So, hmm. If I was scoring, it'd probably be around about a six or seven. Now the chicken pie. Once again, I wouldn't get the point for being sealed. I hope it doesn't taste like tuna fish. It's supposed to be curried chicken. Looks more like a bean puree. Now, these are 15 baht each, which, if you translate that into English, 63 cents each. Can't really taste any curry yet. Can't really taste or see any chicken yet. Tastes exactly the same as the red pork pie. Hmm. Oh well. I 
not bad. It would fill you up for, for the price. You can't complain about that. Now, put our pit bakery. They also make a cream pie. Now, I'm not sure how much that one was. Drop 18 baht. So, about 70 cents. 76 cents. Now, I've just got to get it unwrapped. sealed anyway. So, here's what you've all been waiting for. The cream pie. Cream pie at the end. Got hundreds and thousands there. Reminds me of the little candy ice creams you used to be able to get when we were kids. Nice crispy pastry, not real cream though, mock cream again. I suppose that makes sense because if they had real cream in it, they'd have to have refrigeration. You don't see much of my refrigeration entirely in any shops, that's for sure. Except water and other cold drinks. You go to the markets, meat, seafood, all just lying around on a bench. Sometimes they're lucky, they've got a little fan going around with a couple of things dangling off it to shoo the flies away. But other places, the meat and the fish is just sitting out on the bench and flies crawling all over it. Kind of a bit off putting for, from an outsider perspective. Obviously, it doesn't worry Thai people though. That was a good cream pie, it got all the way in. Which is what you want in a cream pie. Hmm. Anyway, that's about it for now. On to the next one.